there really aren't any outdoor contact sensors for HomeKit. So we're gonna make our own. And then we're gonna automate them to do some pretty cool things. This is a must have for anyone with dogs or it could even be a lifesaver for those with kids. Maybe you have a swimming pool with a little gate or something like that. Lots of ways to get creative and utilize what we're doing here today. It's gonna to be a fun one. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for joining me today. My name is Shane. If you're new here and this channel is all about building an easy smart home using Apple's HomeKit with new videos published every Sunday and live streams every Wednesday. And it was actually during numerous live streams where I kept getting the same question. Shane, are there any outdoor contact sensors that work in HomeKit? And the short answer is no, but you know me, I don't accept that. So today I'm gonna take a regular old Acara door and window sensor and weatherproof it so I can use it outside on my gates. I'll be installing these on two separate gates in my yard. Big thanks to Acara for sponsoring this video. If you're still not familiar with Acara and you're a HomeKit user, you should definitely check them out. They make a number of really great hubs that also double as other things like cameras, IR blasters, and night lights. Then there are many sensors and other child devices that can actually be paired to these hubs. Water sensors, motion sensors, smart switches, vibration sensors, smart buttons, you name it, they've got Got it and they're all super affordable which I love and they all support HomeKit natively they also work with Google and Alexa assistance if you know that's more your thing and of course they have this door and window sensor which we have here today you can pick up one of these from Amazon for under 20 bucks each and can pair them with any of the hubs mentioned previously I thought of the Acara sensors first for this project because one, they are really inexpensive. So even if something goes wrong and I damage one or the weather ends up, you know, getting to it eventually, I'm not out too much money, just, you know, 17, 18 bucks for a sensor. And secondly, they connect to the hubs via Zigbee, which I've always found to be extremely fast and reliable. And they've always had a very good range in my experience. Let's go ahead and look at everything we'll need to accomplish this today. Of course, we we need our door sensor. I'm using the Acara one. I do recommend these, but you can of course use any HomeKit door sensor as long as you can get a good connection to wherever you're installing it. Then I got this pack of really strong rare earth magnets from Amazon. As you can see, these can trigger the sensor. So you may or may not know this, but the small part on pretty much all door sensors is really just a magnet. So you can replace that small piece with any good magnet. A 10 pack of these cost about $23. I'll put links to everything I discussed down in the description below. These are really strong. They have these little mounting holes on them. So they are perfect for something like a wood fence. And as you can see, they work just fine. Next, I ordered these cheap little plastic dustproof junction boxes from Amazon. I got, you know, a five pack for about $8. The big part of the Acara door sensor fits in here just perfectly, as you can see. I'm kind of testing them right here to make sure this little setup is gonna work, and it looks like this is gonna work just fine. I also have some super heavy duty weatherproof double-sided tape that I'll be using to mount the box to the gate. There are obviously a number of ways that you can mount something like this, but this is what I'm using. And if you wanna go the extra mile, you can even add silicone around the box for added protection from the elements and really ensure a complete seal. So now that I can tell that this is gonna work just fine, I need to go out and test them at the actual location of the gate and make sure I can get a good signal and that they work reliably outside. And as you can see, I'm testing them out out here and there are no issues. It's working just fine. And I tried this at both of my gates. If you do have connection issues and you're using a car, you can consider moving your hub to a better location to get a better connection, or you can get certain a car accessories that will extend your Zigbee mesh network, like their smart switches with neutral wires or their smart plug. But if you have a good signal and everything looks good like mine here, go ahead and find a good place to install them. I looked around for a good spot and finally found a good spot right here to mount it. I got some longer screws than the ones that the magnets came with to screw into the gate to make sure they stayed in place. Then using my super heavy duty two-sided tape, mounted the box. 
And that's pretty much it for the installation. Like I said, you can go ahead and put silicone around the sensor case to secure it even more and make it more weatherproof if you want. The one thing that I do like about this box is, you know, assuming that it does last forever out here and that the battery ever dies, I can open the box to access the sensor and still change out the battery. But the battery on these Acora sensors seem to last me forever, so I don't really have to worry about that for quite a while. And you can see this thing is working like a charm. I set the sensor in the home app to send me notifications whenever the gate is opened or closed. This is so handy and I absolutely love this. And you know me, we're gonna take it a little bit further with automations. I have an Acara M1S hub in my kitchen area that has this little night light on it. So I set an automation to turn that light green every time one of the gates is opened and of course turn it off when the gate is closed. Now we have this really neat little visual cue inside whenever a gate is open. It's just awesome. And of course you can automate something similar with any of your home kit colored lights. Next, what I really wanted to do was set up an automation that would alert me if the gate was left open for too long. So I set this automation here using HomeKit and the Push Cut app to send me a custom notification when the gate has been left open for over five minutes. If you wanna see in detail how to set something like that up, check out this video. I'll put a link right up here where I show you how to create these kinds of automations and custom notifications. But as you can see, this works so well. I've been using this setup for a couple of months now through some serious rainstorms and pretty high heat. We'll see just how long these sensors actually last out here, but so far I'm loving it and they work great. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you've got any outdoor home kit sensors set up like this and what you're using Using, or do you plan to do something similar? What kind of automations do you have set up? Love hearing from you guys. Big thanks again to Akara for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. Check out this video right here. This is that one that shows how to create those custom notifications if a gate or you know a sensor is open for too long. And over here is a video showing some other really cool and creative ways you can automate your home with Akara sensors. Subscribe for new home kit videos every Sunday, live streams every Wednesday. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.